Welcome to the Morph Neo channel, where regular and crypto games meet. If you love regular FPS games, blockchain-based NFT and play-to-earn games then subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell to watch our videos and stay up to date. If you are a fan of strategy-based games where spacefaring players attempt to lay claim to territory and conquer opponents, then we have an awesome game for you. This video is a quick review about a blockchain-based game called Star Atlas, which is being made on Unreal Engine 5, a popular 3D creation engine, and built on the Solana blockchain. Star Atlas is set to release in 2022 on PC. There isn't much of a game quite yet, and very little video footage of what gameplay will look like aside from a cinematic trailer and snippets released by the developers. Style-wise, it looks like James Cameron's film Avatar. What is Star Atlas? Star Atlas is an upcoming space-themed NFT game built on the Solana blockchain network. It depicts the events of the year 2620 in a galaxy far away where three factions, humankind, alien races, and android are constantly engaged in a conflict to control the ample part of the Star Atlas cosmos and establish a dominion. The MUD territory governed by humankind, the ONI region as a consortium of alien races, and the Eusta sector controlled by sentient androids. Players can choose to join any of these races and play a vital part in influencing the outcomes of the conflicts to restore order and open up opportunities for monetary gain. Developed using Unreal Engine's Nanit technology, Star Atlas features stunning graphics and offers a cinematic and detailed exploration of this virtual space. Coupled with the Solana blockchain network which is capable of carrying out 50k transactions within a second, the Star Atlas metaverse provides a level of sophistication in blockchain technology that has not been witnessed before. If this sounds interesting then let us go further, but before that a short disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor, everything in this video is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Always do your own research and consult several sources before making any investment decisions. All the information about the game in this video can be found on the game's website, in the white paper and several other sources on the internet. The information we gathered from these sources is intended to be accurate at the time of recording of this video. Please note however that the blockchain-based gaming world is a very fast-spaced industry and is in a constant state of development and evolution. With our quick review series, we wish to give you a short summary of many blockchain games, highlighting some important features of the games, scoring and ranking them solely for orientation purposes and not for judgment. If you have already seen our previous quick review videos and know our scoring system, you can simply skip the next two minutes and continue with the video in the next chapter. At the end of the scoring process, an overall score will be created for each game we have reviewed. Our review and scoring system is very simple and answers the following questions. 1. Is the game already playable? If the answer is yes, then 1 point, otherwise 0. 2. Is the game free to play? If you can start to play the game without any investment then the score is 1 point, otherwise 0. 3. What game modes are available? Is the game a PvP or a PvE game or both modes are available? If only one mode is available, it could be PvP or PvE then the score is 0 points otherwise it is 1 point. 4. Is the game a play-to-earn game? For the purpose of our scoring system the definition of a play-to-earn game is where you can directly and unconditionally earn coins or tokens through gameplay that you can directly convert to stable coins or fiat money. If the answer is yes, then 1 point. If, however, players can earn coins upon some conditions or players can only use the in-game currency they receive as a reward to upgrade their assets or buy NFTs and cannot directly convert it to real money, then the score will be 0 points. 5. The fifth question will have two parts. One part is whether the game token is in the first 1000 ranked by market cap on Cohen market cap website. If yes then half a point, otherwise zero points. And finally, we can give half a point based on our subjective opinion of the game, where we take into consideration factors like, the game itself, network, team, activity, transparency etc. Overall, the maximum score a game can get is 5 points. Let the analysis begin. 
First question. Is Star Atlas already playable? Head to staratlas.com and select play now in the top right corner. You're prompted to connect a Web3 wallet. The game supports many wallets and recommends Phantom, Taurus or Soulflare. You'll need USDC or the in-game currency Atlas to purchase NFT inventory, and a small amount of SOL in your Solana wallet to process transactions and gameplay decisions. Next, choose which faction you want to join. You can join either the Mud, Eusta or Oni factions, each with its own strengths and weaknesses. Faction selection is permanent. Each faction has players working on its behalf in the Star Atlas Metaverse, and a virtual microeconomy that represents how much USDC has been earned by the players in that faction. Before choosing which faction, you want to be a part of, take the time to learn about each one. You can enlist with other factions using passports, eventually. Ships need resources to go on missions, fuel, food, toolkit and ammunition. All of these can be purchased on the Star Atlas Marketplace with Atlas. Star Atlas's development is in Phase 2. There are no dates mentioned on the Star Atlas roadmap, only stating that Phase 3 will begin after the successful launch of Phase 2. Overall, the roadmap is pretty sparse. For a game that's set to be compared to AAA titles, we hoped for more details on combat, structure creation, and other promised mechanics. So, all in all only a pre-alpha version and the mini-games of Star Atlas are playable therefore, we give to this topic half a point. Score, half a point. Is Star Atlas free to play? To play the minigame that's out, you need a ship. Each ship will come with a default set of crew members that are interchangeable and components that players can configure themselves. You can buy a ship on the Star Atlas Marketplace. To access the marketplace, select Marketplace on the left-hand side toolbar. You can buy a ship and use it for missions, claim land around the Star Atlas Metaverse and start mining operations. You'll be able to stake claims to land, add to your faction's earned income, establish trade routes and complete missions. Select Ship Enlistment to start this minigame. We do know Star Atlas won't be free to play. Every decision or purchase in the game is processed through your Solana wallet at a predetermined cost or fee. Minimum costs for items like common ships can be as low as 500 Atlas, which is approximately 4 US dollars at the time of video recorded. Decisions like choosing which faction to represent can be processed via your Solana wallet for less than a penny worth of SOL. So, all in all you need to make some investments to start playing Star Atlas, it is not free to play. We give zero points to this question. Score, zero. What game modes are implemented in the game? PvP or PvE or both? According to the review of the game by Sensorium in the space-themed settings, players can explore the vast expanse for its precious resources, and engage in player versus player, PvP, and player versus environment, PvE, battles to acquire NFTs in-game assets, which can be sold on the decentralized marketplace to turn a profit. With the medley of next-gen blockchain technology and Unreal Engine 5, the Star Atlas universe offers players a robust and fully customizable gameplay experience with everything from interacting, mining, trading, and more. While Star Atlas is in its infancy, it lacks the most basic mechanics, but developers plan to introduce a broad range of unique mechanics by the time of its release. Faction Security Zones Initially, players can choose from the three factions, Humankind, Alien Races, and Androids. Each of these factions has its safety zones where players spawn for the first time and nurture until they're ready to venture into the unknown and engage in combat. Starting off, players need to gather resources, understand the fundamentals of the game, acquire a battle-hardened spaceship and employ an experienced space crew. Once ready to fly off to the nearest combat zone, players will engage in PvP and PvE battles. During battles, players who manage to stand their ground and dismantle their enemies will be able to loot the riches of their enemies. Losers, on the other hand, might be dealt a big blow. While some loot is lost forever, players will need to make repairs and employ a new space crew to once again test their skills against other players in this immersive combat. 
Every player-controlled spaceship in Star Atlas is equipped with various sorts of missile bays and turrets. Each spaceship is powered by power supplies and is guarded by shields around the spaceship coupled with a hole. A missile-guided system is also employed which tracks down enemy ships and targets the weak parts of their ships. Land more shots on your enemies to take down their ship and loot them of their riches. Deep Space Exploration One of the essences of Star Atlas gameplay pillar includes deep space exploration. Players can visit all the stars visible to them and use the cutting-edge gear they have to scan the terrains of its riches and acquire them to trade in the marketplace. Station Modular Construction Setting up space stations on newly found planets is just as important and requires players to install space decks to claim the land and all of its riches. Players can build various sorts of structures in the region to mine, trade, and protect the land from the opponents. Summarizing the above Star Atlas game has PvP and PvE game modes as well. So, we give this topic 1 point. Score, 1. Is the play to earn format implemented in the game? Can you directly earn coins or tokens by gameplay? According to the white paper Atlas will serve as the native in-game currency within Star Atlas. It is the lubricant of the metaverse. Players will initially leverage Atlas to acquire digital assets such as ships, crew, components, land, and equipment. Star Atlas plans to revolutionize the future of the play to earn P2E model by offering complete digital ownership over in-game assets. Such NFTs can be sold on the marketplace to turn a profit and also offers the ability to convert virtual currency into real-world money. The team ensures that every single cent earned through trading, looting, or by any other means remains the property of the player with complete control over the assets. Every player is compensated for the work they put into the vast metaverse and Star Atlas team takes great pride in offering a rewarding monetization system by utilizing the cutting-edge blockchain technology in contrast to traditional monetary models, which often work against the player's interests. For all these reasons, the economic model of Star Atlas has all it takes to become a reliable one. Star Atlas Tokenomics Back to the blog by Sensrium Star Atlas sets itself apart by offering a state-of-the-art smart contract functionality provided by Serum DEX and using the dual token system in the Star Atlas ecosystem. Atlas is used as the in-game utility token while Polis is the governance token in the Star Atlas ecosystem. Atlas token, ERC20, is the utility token in the Star Atlas ecosystem which is used to acquire in-game assets and is responsible for all the in-game economic interactions. Initially, players will use the Atlas token to acquire spaceships, crews, mining equipment, and other digital assets in the metaverse. Players are compensated in Star Atlas tokens for completing various quests and objectives in Star Atlas. Players can claim in-game rewards in the form of Atlas tokens for real-world money, enabling monetary gains for them. So, the Atlas token is the in-game currency used to make purchases in the marketplace. Like most cryptocurrencies, the idea is that its value grows as the economy of players and gameplay grows. You can earn Atlas by embarking on missions within the game. The Polis token is the governance token and allows you to vote on meaningful economic decisions on the platform. Summarizing the information, Start Atlas is a play-to-earn game, we can give one point to this question. Score 1 Market Cap and Subjective Opinion The Star Atlas's main token Atlas price today is 0.008174 USD is ranked 653 on Cohen Market Cap website. The governance token, called Polis price today is 0.5538 US dollars and ranked 734 on Cohen Market Cap website. So, the score for this is half a point. Our subjective score based on the game, network, team, investors, activity, transparency etc. is half a point. Summary of our analysis. 1. Is the game already playable? Only the pre-alpha version of the game is playable. Score, half a point. 2. Is the game free to play? You need a ship NFT to start playing the game, which you can buy for Atlas. 
Score, 0 points. 3. What game modes are available in Star Atlas? This game has PvP and PvE game modes as well. Score, 1 point. 4. Is the game a play-to-earn game? Yes, it is. Score, 1 point. 5. Is it in the top 1000 by market cap? Yes, both tokens, Atlas and Polis are ranked in the top 1000. Score half a point. Our subjective score, half a point. The final score is 3.5 points out of a maximum of 5 points for the GameStar Atlas. We hope that our quick review and comparison method we have set up has helped you to get to grips with this game and that the analysis and overall score has helped you to make your decision to learn more about the game. What do you think about Star Atlas? Would you like to play with this game? Please share your thoughts about the game in the comment section below. Would you like to get a deeper analysis video about Star Atlas? If yes, please drop it in the comment section below. If you like this video, please give a thumb up, we would really appreciate it. In our next video we prepare a quick review about Zoo Races, so please make sure to subscribe to the Morph Neo channel not to miss it and hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and see you next time in our next game review, gameplay, or tutorial video. Bye.